Hey guys! So I just got done canvassing for Rudy Howard in Aurora. It was a lot of fun. We had a couple of volunteers come out. I'm sweaty. My makeup's gross. I think I might have pitted out my shirt. But we had a really good time and we met a lot of people that are very receptive. They want things to change. They want new people in power. They want their communities taken care of. You know, there's this road in Aurora on West Conwell Street. A lot of you know where it is, where Conwell is. This road is horrible. I used to live in Aurora when I was a little girl. And it is, it's no different. It, it's literally not changed. You still have houses that need repair that people probably can't afford to repair them. You have a road that is literally just disintegrating on all sides. There's one section that has really great sidewalks and then there's a section that is just destroyed. It's just completely, there's no, there's no sidewalk. There's this one whole spot that it's like gravel falling down a hill. Like, and it's next to the daycare. People are supposed to walk on this. It's dangerous. You know, there's big, huge sections in the middle of the road that have cones and, and beware stuff on them. Nobody, <laughs> nobody's doing anything about it. And these people are angry. They want their roads fixed. They want the town cleaned up. They, they want good jobs. They want someone that's going to actually pay attention. And a lot of people down there are not registered to vote. There's a lot of people that don't know what the resources are. They don't know about absentee voting. They don't know about early voting. They don't understand that you can get paid to work the travel board. That you can get paid to work the polls. You can get... You have the ability to be a part of this and make a difference. And, and right now, they need someone to make a difference for them. So they see that they matter. So... Aurora, Indiana, I see you. I came from you. And we will help you. Just vote for Rudy Howard, District 67, and, and we will change this town. We'll get it back. We'll get the infrastructure back. We'll get the road back. We'll get safe places for students back. We'll get our Hoosier hospitality back. That's not a statewide thing. That's a local thing. And we need people to know that there's people out there that care. And that Hoosier hospitality does exist. And it starts with us. It starts with every one of us going out there, letting people know what's going on in their government, and, and telling them how, how, how to affect it, how to affect change, how to go to meetings and... and voice their opinion, who they need to talk to. We have people saying that they need to call the state. They've been calling the state over this road over and over again for years and years. That's not the state's job. I mean, it is, but that's a commissioner. Why aren't you bothering your county commissioner? Call them, complain to them. That's their job. They're there to advocate for you. Make sure they do. And if they don't, vote them out. That's your job. So... It was great. I loved canvassing, and I have an interview with Rudy coming up soon. I have a clip from him. As soon as I get that edited, I'll get it uploaded. And thank you, Trisha. Thank you, Les. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you, everyone, for all of your help, and I hope to see you at the next one. Catch up with me this week. Uh, Saturday, I will be at Mavericks for the Cameron County Young Democrats meeting, our first one, meet and greet. Let's see what kind of see what kind of change we can make. So I hope to see you then. Have a great day. Bye.